Hey guys, it's Issa and today I'm going to film a what's in my grooming kit video. We filmed one of these a little while ago, but a lot has changed so I just wanted to show you guys what I currently have in here. So I'm just going to get started and show you guys what I have. And I'm sorry if things look gross. Zara's currently shedding so everything's just really hairy. Trust me, it's like sitting on my lap and seeing it not in the barn, it looks so gross. But we will eventually actually show you guys like a video on how to clean your brushes. I'm not following that example right now because she's shedding so what's the point cleaning them if she's just gonna get them gross the next day. This is my curry comb. Julie and I both do this. It's just like this mitt with little bumpies on it and you stick your hand in it and it's amazing and it's like way more flexible than a normal curry comb. And then I have just these brushes that came in a set. I got it when I was like 10 for going clear on a cross country round. That's how old it is because I don't do cross country anymore. There's just a dandy brush and then like a softer brush. I wouldn't really consider this a like finishing brush but it is softer. So I typically use this on her legs and then this on her body. Next I have this horsehair brush and it is literally the softest thing. It works so well for finishing. They do not kill horses for horse hair brushes and you just cut their tails. Then next I have this hairbrush. It is literally a human hairbrush from Marshalls. It is Argan magic. Um, I mean, I'm not really stingy about hairbrushes. Oh, I have this sheepskin. This, like the tail tamer sheepskin brush. It is, it, well, it's not really as soft, but it was so soft and it's great for their face and just like, Next I have a shedding blade or shedding tool and this is very very helpful for the springtime because she is just like coming in clumps. And then, so that's like all on one side of my grooming kit. The edges of my grooming kit you have like things sticking out and I have a pair of scissors. So helpful to keep scissors in here and then two sharpies, a black and a pink one. And then on this edge I keep my laser, laser therapy dealio. On the end here I get a lot of questions about it but it's just light therapy laser and it helps with like her circulation and repairing her muscles and cells. I keep um, my pair of gloves in here. I have Rokels. I lost one of mine so they're mismatching but they're both black Rokels. They're just different models. I have this pair of really intense looking scissors that my grandma got me for Christmas. <laughs> Garden <laughs> I don't know why I have like those. Yeah. twigs. Yeah. Like that. If I ever need to cut a twig when I'm like, I don't know, walking a course or something and there's a twig in there, I got you. I have a lot of miscellaneous things in the bottom here that I don't really ever use. So I have like a pulling comb and then I have a bot egg scraper. I have a, like a little comb that I never use these at all. And then I have this thing. I'm not quite sure what you would call this, but it's supposed to be for their mane and it's like sharp right here and like, it like pulls their mane and like thins it out. But it doesn't really work because like Zara's mane isn't tangled. So it's just like brushes it. So I have a little baggie of hair ties in here. Along the other side, opposite from the brushes, I have my boots. So I always kind of switch up Zara's boot routine, but I always go with my Dover um, open front boots. They are very protective and great for jumping and even just flat work because um, it always concerns me if like a horse accidentally nicks themselves. So I always keep these in there. These are the front ones. And then in the back legs, because of her scratches and having medication on her one leg, it, the dirt like sticks to it really badly. So I use polos to prevent the dirt from sticking and so these are my polos I have a little X on this one to like signify that this one goes on her scratches leg so I'm not transferring diseases oh okay this is a fun little thing I have these rescue remedy Bach natural stress relief for vet for pets and I know it sounds like really stupid but my mom got it for me and it I mean I don't know if it works but it's just like this little dropper and you put them in their mouth it's not like a legit drug, so I'm not like drugging her, but it's just like stress relief, like it's all natural. I don't know if it works, um, but sometimes I use it if she just seems stressed. <laughs> and then I have my Farrier's Fix hoof oil. So this is just iodine and I put this on her hooves like every two weeks and it keeps them very hard and durable. And then I have Desitin in here and some plastic medical gloves 
and um, I just put this on her scratches leg after every ride to prevent it from getting like sunburned because that like encourages more scratches and it just helps prevent any further scratches. And then I have my hoof pick on the other side. Just a very basic hoof pick that I got from Rolex for free. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it insightful to see what I have in my grooming kit. There's nothing crazy in here. But, well, at least to me, I guess having a laser therapy thing is kind of weird. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for a notification. And, yeah, well, I will see you guys later. Bye!